George Winterling, a meteorologist whose career at WXJT TV4 spanned more than half a century of hurricanes and nor'easters, broiling summer days, and an occasional cold snap, passed away on June 21. He was 91. He was regarded as a pioneer in the field of meteorology. To help the viewers understand how hot it was outside, he created the phrase humature, which was subsequently shortened to heat index. In 1962, Winterling was hired as the station's first meteorologist. He had previously worked for the U.S. Weather Bureau, but he switched to television after realizing that none of the available weather shows at the time gave viewers an explanation of what the weather was doing and why. He was the only meteorologist to forecast Hurricane Dora would hit Northeast Florida. Outside linebacker Clark Haggins, who played for Arizona and San Francisco during his 13-year career and won a Super Bowl with the Pittsburgh Steelers, passed away on June 20. He was 46. Haggins was selected by the Steelers in the fifth round of the 2000 NFL Draft, and he went on to become a star in Pittsburgh. Haggins was a key part of the Steelers team that won the Super Bowl in 2005, recording a career-high nine sacks during the season. Haggins spent seven years in Pittsburgh before moving on to play three seasons with the Arizona Cardinals, before calling it quits in 2012 after one season with the San Francisco 49ers. George Frazier, a relief pitcher who made two World Series appearances over a decade-long MLB career before becoming a broadcaster, passed away on June 19 in Tulsa at age 68. A specific cause of his passing has not been revealed, but he had been battling an undisclosed illness. Frazier is remembered by Colorado Rockies fans as the team's color commentator from 1998 until 2015. Frazier played parts of 10 Major League Baseball seasons with five clubs. He participated in the 1981 World Series with the New York Yankees and helped the Cubs win their first division crown in 1984, before winning the World Series in 1987 with the Minnesota Twins. Following that, he worked as a television announcer for the Colorado Rockies for 18 years. He returned to Oklahoma in 2015 as a color analyst on television broadcasts through the 2023 season. Milton Powell, Big Pokey, passed away on 18 June after collapsing on the stage while performing in front of crowds. Many fans captured his performance, with the video of him collapsing on stage going viral. Originally from Houston, Texas, Milton Powell was an American rapper. In 1995, he launched a successful rap career. Up until this passing, the skilled rapper was still performing. Powell joined the Screwed Up Click early on and was one of its original members. Also, he was associated with chopped and screwed music. Milton also started rapping in the early 1990s while collaborating with Houston producer DJ Screw. On DJ Screw's mixtapes, he released various tracks. Everyone is shattered by the news as he passed away at 48. Teresa Taylor, a former drummer for the Butthole Surfers and a Madonna merchandiser in Richard Linklater's 1990 movie Slacker, passed away on June 18 at the age of 60 after a battle with lung disease. From 1983 through 1989, Taylor was one of the Butthole Surfers' two active drummers. She collaborated with King Coffee on several of the group's albums, such as Psychic Powerless Another Man's Sack. Taylor was frequently seen on the movie's posters and physical release artwork for her part as a lady trying to sell Madonna's pap sneer in the movie Slacker. Jack Stokes, a veteran journalist with the Associated Press who was the news cooperative's steadfast supporter and served as its spokesman during the last years of his decades-long career before his retirement, has passed away on June 18. He was 73. Stokes, an avid cyclist and athlete, passed away unexpectedly after collapsing at his home in Queens, 